In this video, we'll be talking about how I review trades using Thinkorswim, which is my main platform. Um, I'm in on-demand mode just for demonstration purposes here, but let's say that you finished a trading day or a trading week, and you want to go back and look at the trades you took to see if um, there were any uh, things that you could improve upon, lessons to be learned, uh, through those trades, which is absolutely critical to this process. If you're not reviewing your trades and logging information about those trades, then it's going to be very difficult for you to identify your weaknesses and um, make improvements in your trading. The first step is to uh, pull up your um, charts, however you like to view your charts, I primarily do day trades, and so I'm looking a lot at the one minute and the five minute chart uh, for precise entries and exits. And then the second window you wanna have open is your trade history so that you can see what days you took trades and on what tickers for the review process. So if you click over to monitor and you go to account statement and on the far right side, you click this hamburger button and click detach. That's going to create a separate window for your account statement. And then open up trade history. And this is going to show you your trade history and you have different ways to filter this. So you can up here at the top filter by uh, specific date, which is what I would recommend, is if you go day by day, you can put in dates here. So this is in on demand and we've um, gone back in time to June 1st. So I'm filtering just from June 1st to June 1st. So I'm only looking at um, the current trading day. And so here are all the trades that were taken on this day and it shows uh, the tickers here in the middle. There's a lot of um, additional fields here, so depending on what you trade, if you trade options, uh, there's gonna be expiry and strike price. I am just trading commons, so I'm gonna click this tiny gear button and customize this menu and get rid of a, a few things that um, I don't need on this for myself. So expiration, strike, I'm gonna get rid of uh, net price and then um, type and side, I hit okay here. That's gonna thin this menu out so that I can tidy it up. Then I wanna filter by execution time. Um, you could also filter by uh, ticker or symbol if you wanted. I typically just go in order, like what I traded at the beginning of the day, moving on down. So now we've got our uh, trades listed here, and it's time to start doing reviews. So back over to the trade panel, and the next part of this is getting the trades to show up on your charts, so you don't have to be uh, looking at the exact execution time and the entry price. Uh, to figure out exactly where you entered, that would be annoying. And thankfully, Thinkorswim has a good solution for this. So in the next uh, sequence, I'll show you how to turn on the trade visibility because it can only be done um, outside of on-demand. You can't show this feature in on-demand. It has to be done uh, outside in the real account. Here's how you show trades on Thinkorswim. If you go up to the chart settings button and in the general settings, click show trades and hit apply. And then on the chart that you click the button on, you will now see these red and green bubbles indicating your buys and sells on the chart. I'm gonna do that exact same thing for my second chart. Now I've got my one minute chart 
and my five minute chart both showing the same trades. And my account statement over here showing what ticker I took the trade on on that day. And I can go and zoom in on my one minute and on my five minute and get a feel for what pre-market looked like, what the price action was, what I was seeing on the chart at that time as it was developing, and then look at my entries and evaluate whether these are good trades, uh, whether I made errors entering or exiting, whether the setup was good, um, and then I go through and uh, log that in a trading log and make notes about whether or not I could have uh, improved the trade or whether I should have gotten into the trade at all. So on this green bubble right here, this actually encapsulates uh, three different buys for five shares each at the same price. So I had a trigger set, a buy limit set, um, to buy above a certain level based on this five minute hammer candle. And then I had uh, bracketed orders for three different uh, partial cells. One at my first profit target, which is a 1R, one risk level. One cell at a second profit target up here. and then a third cell on the final profit target. So it makes it very easy to see where all of your buys and sells are. And um, there were two separate trades this day, so there's a second trade later on. Um, so this has been a super valuable system for me, uh, reviewing what I did on the following day or, or reviewing the trades throughout the week uh, to be able to see where I made mistakes and what kind of corrections I'd want to make. And it's oftentimes it's very um, eye-opening. And sometimes I'm thinking, why did I even enter that trade? So hopefully this helps a little bit.